Make him fight me if he's going to give you I 50 million. I think Josh, you want you second Joyce or, or, or pose interesting not questions. My era. Who, who second Joyce are not my era. They come from a different era. They were still changing nappies when I was a champion. I was world heavyweight champion while they were boxing for a plastic cup. So um, the company. I mean, either heaven. way, I think it adds to your legacy. And, and when you talk about legacy. But one thing that you underestimate, um, my friend, is I don't right. give one damn about legacy. Do well, you, you talk about that? it a fair bit, though, right? You talk about no, being the greatest ever a lot. I don't talk about that at all. Because when I'm finished from boxing, do you know what? I don't care about what people think about me or how many belts I won or what fights didn't happen. It's no interest. You go back to all the press conferences and see. No interest in legacy, no interest in being remembered, no interest in belts. Check it after out. After your last... After, okay. I, I... Okay. Now, this is the interview that everyone's talking about. <laughs> True Gordy versus Tyson Fury. And it's versus Tyson Fury because... True Gordy is not doing a Gareth uh, Davis or Davis, right? He's not sugarcoating anything. He's not cheerleading. He's not talking biased or asking selective questions. He's asking the questions that's actually challenging, that's actually inquisitive to what people are asking about Tyson Fury. And as you heard Tyson Fury say, that guys like Usyk and Joyce are not in his era. They were changing napkins, napki, nappies or whatever, diapers, <laughs> when he was winning a world championship. Let me counterpunch, please. Alexander Usyk is older than Tyson Fury. Alexander Usyk is 34 years old. He'll be 35 on January 17th. Now, he could say, well, he wasn't in the weight class. Fair play. He's been there since 2020, I know. Okay, so he's been there a couple years. A couple years where you were a champ. And Joe Joyce is a lot older than Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is 34 years of age. He just turned 34 in August. Okay, I'm great with dates. Uh, Joe Joyce is 36, or no, 37 Okay, and if he was 36 or 37, just for the sake of argument, that's two, That's still two years older than Tyson Fury. So I ask you again, if he says it's not in the era, how the fuck are they not in his era when they're older than him? See, that's one thing saying, well, hey, I have a certain amount of respect for these guys, but they're younger than me. They're not in my era. Joshua was the only one. So that's who I'm going to fight. But don't say they're not in your era, because that's bullshit. Okay? So, let's continue. I have heard you say this before, but I've also heard you yeah. say, I'm the greatest of all time many, many times. And to me, if that's not of interest of you, why say it? Because I am. I'd be any man born from his mother. But, but you haven't proven that, is my point. You can't prove it, because you can't go back in time and fight all the greats. You can only beat whoever's in front of you. I'm not saying. Okay, well, I, I think. I so, think, what is it that what is it you're getting at here, anyway? You want to get the Chisora fight? Is a, is a, is a, is a, is a is f f you're charging the great British public hard-earned money to watch this on pay-per-view and when you've yeah. already beaten him twice and he's shown that well, he, he is nowhere near John the Wilder twice and people still paid for it I think John A. Wilder is of a much more dangerous fight as uh, hence why he put you down multiple times whereas Chisora mm -hmm. he ain't going to put you down if he's in there with a hammer well, with you you know he can't put anybody down if well, he's in the anyway, he can't put anyone down right. it's just he won't put you down how do you know that? I don't believe so because he struggled so much with the last time that the crowd were booing towards the end of the fight because it was so boring. Styles make fights. Chisora's done what he's got to do. And no matter what you say or what you, people like you want to say about Derek Chisora, he's achieved more than in boxing and in fighting than 10 men like you could ever achieve. I agree so I'm not you. just going to let you sit here and slate somebody who's fought the best fighters of this I'm era. I'm not slating him. I just, just don't think he's got enough to, to, to be in there with you anymore. I, I, I think, think Derek Chisora exactly is a legend of, of what you I can achieve with, exactly with war in your heart. He's a top he's 10 rated fighter level. and he's done a lot. He's done a lot in the sport and he deserves his payday. And I'm willing to give it. And that's is this it. about the, is this about the payday for Chisora for you a little bit? Is is this you sorting out an old mate a little bit? Um, or you give really. word? Chisora, Chisora um, does what he does, and you know he fights people and he gets his wins and he's had more life than I have. But 
it is what it is. Um, I'll be fighting Chisora, and that's it. Look forward to it. And if you don't want to watch it, then please don't. And if you do, <laughs> tune in. And if you don't want to buy a ticket... <laughs> now, listen. This is the reason, like I was telling you, Tyson Fury was getting pissed. Tyson Fury was... Feel, he felt like he was being challenged, you know, and when, and I get it because Tyson Fury is promoting a fight. Uh, Tyson Fury chose to fight Derek Chisora. Tyson Fury chose to not give Chisora a deadline. Tyson Fury chose to offer the fight to Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury chose to give to Anthony Joshua a deadline. He chose to stop the deadline. He chose to extend the deadline. He could have done anything he wanted to do. Okay, he could have done anything he wanted to do, but he didn't. Okay, so he chose to fight Derek Chisora. Okay, and it's a money thing because why would you care if it wasn't a money thing about someone not unknown but more dangerous than someone known that's less dangerous? Because let's face it, Derek Chisora is less dangerous. He's 38 years old. He's fought everybody. He's damn near lost to everybody. So you can't say he's that dangerous guy. And you can't say all of a sudden, oh, I'm fighting him because... He's this dangerous guy and he could beat me up. Then you fought him two fucking times. And True Gordy challenged him because what ticked Tyson off, I think, besides talking about, you know, Brit's hard-earned money for this fight that we've already seen twice before, is the fact that he said, hey, you know what? They were booing the second fight because it was not that type of challenge for you. So why are you fighting and taking these easy pickums? So Tyson Fury got hot under the collar because of that. And then, of course, have you heard him before I stopped it? Hey, if you don't want to watch it, watch it. If you want to watch it, watch it. I really don't give a shit. So basically, he's saying he doesn't care. Let's continue because it's getting hotter right now. Don't buy a ticket. And if you do, we let the rest of the 50 or 60 or 1,000 that's already bought tickets. So I One last say, question I about you, sir. I beg to differ with you because there's already been over 60,000 tickets sold. So somebody's obviously interested in the fight. Well, I think people are interested in you because you, you are great. And I don't dispute that for one second, Tyson. But what people really I, want you is... You can see where I'm coming from. I can't let you, probably never had a fight in your life, rub Chisora down. He's fought everybody. I'm not doing I that. Cannot... Okay, let me stop right there because it's something I have to add. I have to counterpunch this. I hate when people do this, and then this is definitely when they feel challenged. Tyson Fury is feeling challenged. When an interviewer starts asking you about their career and you say, well, what have you done? That's the same shit Floyd did with Brian Kenny. Um, what have you done? Um, Brian Kenny? Um, yeah, jack of all trades, master of none. I'm talking about somebody that never laced up uh, a pair of boxing gloves in his life. That's the type of shit you do when you feel threatened or challenged or disrespected. And another thing I have to add, at any point in time, and I know people, the Fury fans, you true born fools, what you guys do, you will say, hey, guess what? Uh, hey, he did say he was going to fight Derek Chisora. Tyson Fury hasn't mentioned that shit one time in the buildup. In fact, he said everything but that. Now, if he would have remembered what he said, like you guys remember, he would have used it. But he doesn't remember it. Why? Because it's not valid. Okay, it's not valid that, oh, I said that I was going to do it, therefore I'm doing it. No, you did it because it was the easiest thing to do. You don't even remember that, so that meant it couldn't have been something that was on your brain that you remember uh, uh, Derek Chisora right now anyway. So let's continue. Let that happen. I'm just saying the fact that he's lost 50% of his last 15 fights and isn't at the level. He he's fought at world right. level, world level. And he fought, he fought the, well, what is now the unified heavyweight champion of the world in Israel yeah. pushed him all the way so somebody who can't fight doesn't do that I never said he can't fight though what, I, what I'm saying is, is he, with his record right now I don't think he should be getting a world title fight and I think there's a potential in boxing for people to get badly hurt when they're mismatched and I think that this is a mismatch Ooh, I don't I think the heavyweight fights and anything can happen don't uh, write Derek Chipora off because you're only one punch away from victory hey, or if, if Chisora does it I think the world would be happy for him even you, <laughs> you'd be the one on the receiving end of it. Big thanks for taking the uh, the interview, Tyson. I understand where you're coming from. Appreciate you and Derek are legends of British boxing. All respect in that sense. And I wish you the best of luck, mate. See you Good the next man. time.
Cheers, I mate. think you're a tosser. You're like a toss pot. <laughs> Thanks. And I won't be doing any more interviews with you. <laughs> toss pot, baby. No worries, mate. Thanks tosser. very much. Kiss my balls. <laughs> you little whack. <laughs> you little shit house. Have you worked out how to close this phone? Are you all right? So Hit the button at the bottom. <laughs> well, that went well. You haven't been cussed at. Yo, listen. Tyson Fury felt disrespected, but he cannot ignore what he was being asked. Now, I think that gets to him. Um, Tyson Fury, the way he looked, the expressions that he made during the interview, you got to see it. I'll leave the link below. Um, classic interview. Uh, you have to admit, Drew Gordy, for all Tyson Fury fans, he came up with true points, major points, that it'll make you think, like, yo, that's true. You know, so for him to lose his cool like he did, it just shows that Tyson Fury feels challenged. He felt that uh, True Gordy was hating on him. That's why he compared True Gordy, which is a fucking uh, podcaster, um, compared his career to his, even though they're on different job titles. You know, and that tells you all by itself that when... Someone ask you questions about your career. That's when people definitely reflect. Or should I say deflect. Right? And that's exactly what Tyson Fury was doing. He was deflecting. But what about you? He's done more than you. Those type of things happen when someone feels threatened. You know? But I hope I gave you guys a build up of what was going on in this particular interview. Because... You know, when you mention Joe Joyce, older than Tyson Fury, when you mention Alexander Usyk, again, older than Tyson Fury, then you come with, hey, I want legacy, I want three trilogy fights, at what expense? Fighting someone you already fought? I mean, obviously so, but what has he done in his career to warrant being the champion? You got the number one guy, which you, obviously you don't give a shit about, you know, and like those type of things. And Joe Joyce said that he would take that fight in a heartbeat, so stop. Okay, him saying, oh, he wasn't going to be ready by December 3rd. He would have been ready. He said, I'll take the fight. How about you? Get it on. Let's go. Oh, you got to build your profile. That's what the response was. Okay, so again, it's hard for anybody that is a diehard Tyson Fury fan to ignore what happened in this interview. And it just shows you when you ask the right type of questions, this is the type of response you get, especially when these questions are challenging, not the person that's asking them. The questions themselves are challenging to that fighter. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Tyson Fury going off on True Gordy. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.